Welcome, Light the Bay Church. This is Pastor Mark, and on behalf of Pastor Jason, we'd like to give you a word of encouragement for today. I want to talk to you today about godly essentials in the times that we're living in, and it's evident that we're living in unprecedented times, but that doesn't change what God's perspective of the world. The Bible goes on to say that Christ died for the world. Now, I want to talk to you about three essentials that will relate to us, the believers, today. Uh, the first essential I want to remind us is that we are the salt of the world. So no matter what's going on, we still have a mandate from the Lord to go into all the world, preach the gospel. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved. And the rest goes on. And I want to talk to you, if you look with me in, in Matthew chapter 5, verse 13, I'm going to be reading this. It says this, Jesus is talking about salt, us being the salt of the earth and the light of the world. He says, you are the salt of the earth. Isn't that good news? And he goes on to say, but what good is salt if it's lost its flavor? Can you make it salty again? Well, of course you can't. Uh, it will be thrown out and trampled underfoot and is worthless. For you are the light. Notice that what he said there. We are the light of the world. And he goes, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden, no one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, Jesus went on to say, you let your good deeds shine out for all to see and that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. And so one of the first essentials for us as believers is that we are the light of the world and we're the salt. Well, what's salt? Salt is a preservative. Salt is, uh, it, it preserves and it, 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 it preserves from things decaying, from meat decaying. And so we are preservative in the earth today. And so whatever is happening, we don't want to forget God's mandate. It doesn't change God's word. It doesn't change are being deputized to do his service in the earth today. And so I want to encourage you that we are the salt of the earth and we are the light. Well, what is light? Well, we're the light because we're the children of light. And the Bible goes on to say that there's the children of darkness and the children of light. And how many know that it's God's will that we all be light? And so let your light shine so that everyone can see. Well, how do you do that? You let your light shine in whatever world you're in, whether it be your, your work, your home, uh, places where you have business or places that you do business, you can be a light and a salt. How do you do that? By just your good works, by testifying of the goodness of God in your life, and by just showing Jesus to the world. Because Jesus said, if I be lifted up, all men shall be saved. And so we are the salt of the world. And so we our, our job is to season everything around us. We ought to be seasoners, if you will. We ought to season everybody around us. Instead of letting the world or letting things around sour you, we ought to be seasoning them and salting them, if you will. Why? Because of the goodness of God in our lives and because of what Jesus has done for us. And another thing, Number two, I want to talk to you as far as the number two essential is to fear not. Fear not is mentioned at least, and it's probably more, at least 150 times in the Bible. And the Bible goes on to say in Luke chapter 21 verse 9, But when you shall hear of wars, commotions, instabilities, and disorders, and confusions, Jesus said, Be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, for nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in different places. All these things are the beginning of sorrow. But now I want to let you know that because of what we see going on, guess what? You and I do not have to be afraid. The Bible goes on to say that the Lord has not given us, this is a familiar scripture, the spirit of timidity or fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And so we don't have to be afraid of what's going on. We don't have to walk in fear. Why? The Bible says the Lord is with us. And so we don't have to be afraid. Isn't that good? So essential number one is remember that you're the salt with the light of the world. And then secondly, we don't have to walk in fear. Let's keep on reading. Um, 
Isaiah chapter 35, verse 4 in the New Living Translation says this, Say to those with fearful hearts, be strong and do not be afraid. And so if you have a fearful heart, if you're trembling a bit, guess what? A commandment of the Lord is be strong and be not afraid. Be strong and do not fear. Why? For your God is coming to destroy your enemies. He's coming to save you. And so we know as believers that we've already been saved by the blood of Jesus because of the cross and because of his death, burial, and resurrection. And so we don't have to walk in timidity or in fear of anything of what we're seeing. We can walk with victory because the Bible goes on to say that the Lord has already given us the victory. Luke chapter 12, verse 32, King James, he says, Do not fear, little flock. For it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And so we don't have to walk in fear of what we're seeing. We don't have to walk in fear of anything that's going around. But we can walk what with the victory that Christ has already did and died for us. Notice this. Third essential. Third essential. Is that we have the victory in that the Lord is with you. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 says this, let your conduct or your conversation or your lifestyle uh, be content with what things that you have. For he himself said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we can boldly say, guess what? The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? So we don't have to walk in fear why? Because the Lord is with us. Jesus came out and said, be not afraid, for I am with you. And every time Jesus showed up, every time the Lord showed up, both in the Old Testament and the New Testament, it was always a word of hope, a word of encouragement, fear not, fear not. So we don't have to fear anything. Why? Because the Lord is with you. Remember the story uh, back when Elijah, Elisha and his servant Gazar, they, they went out and there was uh, the, the, the men gathering, the enemies camped around about. And Elisha said, open up my servant's eyes so that he might see. And when he opened up, he opened up his spiritual eyes and he saw chariots of fire. He saw a host of angelic beings there to protect. Why? Because God is with us. There'll be more, there's more with us than there you see in the world. So I want to encourage you today. Be of good cheer. And there is the, the hope of God's word. There is the encouragement of God's word for us today. You don't have to fear. You can walk being the salt of the earth. It doesn't change the Lord. It doesn't change what his mandate is for the church. It doesn't change what the word of God says for his word is the same today, yesterday, and forever. So be of good cheer. Number one, we're the salt of the earth. We can be encouraged with that. Number two, we don't have to walk in any kind of fear. And number three, always remember the Lord is with you. The Bible goes on to say, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And so we can be encouraged and we can be uplifted and say, you know what, Lord, <laughs> greater is the one in me. I may not feel victorious, but we're not walking or led by our feelings. We're led by what the word of God already says. So if his word says that, guess what? I'm going to act on that. I'm going to believe that. I'm going to act like it. So whether my feelings have anything to do with it or not, and, and soon or later, your feelings will line up and say, yeah, you know what? The word of God is true. And I'm going to walk in that word that I know, and I'm going to walk in the light of it. Therefore, I'm going to have victory and walk victorious in the midst of storms, in the midst of trials, in the midst of tribulation, and in the midst of what may be seen confusion. The Lord is with you, and the Lord is for you, and he even knows the number of the hair on your head. He knows everything about you. He knows you're coming, you're going, and he has a plan, and he's working out his plan. And so the word today is to finish our course. These are the godly essentials. Fear not. We're the salt of the earth. And guess what? The Lord is with us always. This is Pastor Mark with the word of encouragement for today. God bless you. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.